Get my camera down. Give me a second here. <clears throat> Actually, that's not a bad angle, quite frankly. Oh. All right, let's set this up. Uh. Good morning, friends. Hope you are having a wonderful, 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 wonderful holiday week. Pull this over here a little bit. Lay it down. Okay. Okay, let's see. Da, 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 do, 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 do. Let everybody know where I am. Let's fix this. Okay. Oh, wait, that's not even there. There we are. Let's see. Good afternoon, or good morning, everybody. Happy New Year's Eve to you. Hope you're having a wonderful holiday week so far. Uh, my name Get is ready. is Enigma, and uh, we're going to start the pre-sequel today. I've been playing two for a while. I think we'll move on, and then uh, after that we will do uh, Borderlands 1, I think. At least till for the foreseeable future. Everybody seems like to be doing Borderlands content. Uh... First thing is first, I need to make sure people can hear me, because this is a older headset. Hello? Let's see. I need to look here. Let's see. Okay, people can't hear me. All right, excellent. So guys, uh, this is the pre-sequel now. Uh, the pre-sequel basically means it's like Borderlands 1 and a half. Uh, this took place between Borderlands 1 and Borderlands 2. So therefore you're going to see a lot of characters from both games. Uh, but they haven't quite gone through the character changes and storylines that they're going to go through in uh, Borderlands uh, 2. Okay, uh, So... Like Borderlands 2, we have six characters we can choose from. Now, the first four characters were chosen were, were the uh, were in the game initially, hey, Check out my package. and then uh, the last two were given as downloadable content, very similar to Borderlands 2 in the way that that worked. Fool. Okay, so let's go through the characters here. We have Athena. Uh, she actually was kind of in one of the characters in one, but not really. I mean, kind of. Uh, then Wilhelm here. Wilhelm should be recognizable because it's actually he's in Borderlands 2. He's Wilhelm the back every time he completes a mission or something. He wants to be he wants to be a robot. And that's basically what, what happens with Wilhelm. The uh, lawgiver here, gunslinger, uh, that is Jack's girlfriend, the sheriff of Lynchwood. Uh, Step right up to the sequence of trapping. Of course, Claptrap has uh, needs no introduction. He, everybody knows who he is. And then on top of that, we have downloadable content. This is actually one of Jack's doppelgangers. Notice he's not wearing a mask. Morning, young blood. And I think it's Timothy from uh, Borderlands 3's uh, Handsome Jackpot. And then, of course, Aurelia Hammerlock. She uh, is in Borderlands 3 as well as an enemy. So we're going to pick Bring Athena. It! <clears throat> Hopefully we'll do this without cheesing anything over. How you doing this morning, man? Hello, Vault Hunter, and thank you for answering Hyperion's summons. Unfortunately, the Helios space station is currently under attack by insane doll military forces. Please, take this Echo device. Now, follow me. I can take you to your contractor liaison. <laughs> me, Rocket. Landy could have used some work, but A for effort. Hey, you were up pretty late, weren't you? Let's take a look here. We have personal item. All right. So that's the armor. Sorry about the mess. Things got really hairy once the Lost Legion attacked. 
Luckily, I was not up that late, so... Not a problem. My goodness. Caution recommended. Armed a little loud. A little loud. Okay. So, uh, guys, this is an older headset. Um, my Astro A50s are not acting like a $300 headset. So <laughs> if I sound a little weird, I apologize. It's going to be like this probably for the, for the next couple of weeks until I'm going to send it back in and have them fix it. I spent too much money on that headset for it not to work. Life Borderlands 2, this is not a blind playthrough, but it might as well be for me because I've not uh, done a lot of Borderlands uh, pre-sequel content on the PlayStation. But that's fine, I kind of like the, these kind of playthroughs and in that way we can play it the right way. There will be a couple of things that are different. First of all, there's no slag in this game. And they add cryo instead. I have no idea what the best character is, but I always like Athena. must have killed this one. People think robots can't feel pain, but we actually feel it in slow motion with great intensity. This robot died in horrific anger. That die? That's awesome. This is Athena, reporting in. Oh man, the x lights is awesome! Big fan! Help! Lots of help! I got no idea who these asshole troops are or why they got a murder on for this base station, but they got me pinned! Forward! Take him out! Flight! Flight! And that's just Jack, not handsome Jack. This is kind of the black sheep of uh, Borderlands. Your Helio space station now belongs to the lost I said I'd scare you guys for it. It's cool. Are you alright? What? Uh, mostly because it was not developed by Gearbox. Come on. Come on. It was developed by 2K Australia, which will be another thing you'll notice. A lot of the characters, a lot of the random voices in this game are Australian. Even some of the newer characters you'll see are Australian. That being said, all the uh, classic characters that return all have their original voices. Stuff before helping him up, he actually smarts off to you. Or, uh, you wanna wait? You're busy? That, that's cool. I'll just bleed over here internally for a while. I hear it's a super fun way to pass the time, but yeah, yeah, don't mind me. Just the guy who hired ya. Sorry, am I being passive aggressive? My bad. That must be a symptom of almost dying. But no, no, I'm, I'm sure you've got a a lot of important stuff to do. I'll just sit over here and try to keep my internal organs from rupturing. Uh, make a day of it. You're not gonna die out here, Jack. You're okay. He's all right. I do. Good. Holy crap! You saved my life. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Heart's bounding. Never been shot at before. This is fun, actually. 
Look, these crazy bastards attacked Helio Station right after I sent for you guys. If we can drive them off, we'll be free to go after that vault on the moon's surface. All right, looks like you got a shield. Pretty self-explanatory, really. It'll eat bullets until it depletes. When it does, you gotta hide and give it time to recharge. Hey, just let me activate the defense controls. A few seconds, we'll have turrets, force fields, laser wires. <laughs> These assholes won't know what hit them. Critical failure. Helios defense systems are being jammed. What? How? Jamming signal originates from Elpis, Pandora's Oh, crap. Kill the turrets! Kill the turrets! B. If we can't take Helios back, we need to evacuate. Escape ships are this way. We must take this ground. Who's that woman? I don't know. She leads these jackasses, I think. I don't know, but the first person to shoot her in the head gets a high five in a turbo mansion. <laughs> There'll be some other small changes we'll go over as well as we uh, come across them. There's no Iridium in this game, for instance. Instead, you collect Moonstones, and Moonstones are what you use for SD upgrades and stuff. <clears throat> also, there's a new kind of weapon, laser, right, laser gun. There go our hey, escape pod. Portal. Execute plan and shoot that chick in the head. Hello, Jack. Morning, Thanksy. How you doing, man? Oh, I gotta watch that tonight. Okay, that's unnerving. Boss and I'll watch it after for when we're eating dinner or something. Oh, perfect. She destroyed the ships. We gotta find another way out the station. I've never seen a creature like that. What was it? Uh, no idea, but I get the feeling it could kill us with its brain, so, you know, uh, <laughs> keep running. Jack, what the hell is going on? I'm getting reports of alarms all across Helios. Nothing, sir. Nothing. Everything's fine. Just uh, one of the clap trap units. Trying Good. To I'm looking forward to watching it, sir. Need I remind you that you are there to observe Pandora? Nothing more. If you incur any damages to the Helios space station, I will personally. Ah, oh, sorry, sir. We're losing connection. I can't. Uh, sorry. Asshole. What? I called you an asshole because I thought I'd hung up. My bad. We will speak <laughs> again, John. There's Elpis. That friggin' jamming signal is somewhere down on that cracked rock messing up all the cool security stuff up here. Man, this is scary, kind of, but cool! Son of a king! Why the hell are you attacking us, you dicks? I want this station, and I want to save right? the universe. What the hell's that supposed to be? Lunatics! 
So guys, if it's the first time here, please don't forget to give me a follow. I appreciate it. Follow me on social media. We're up to 80 followers now. And us, if we don't move it. So, very proud of that. Thank you so much for those who have uh, taken the plunge. Hope okay, to continue to well, earn your support. Got a stupid idea. We're gonna head to that moonshot cannon. Follow me. What's this moonshot cannon we're heading toward? Basically, a huge gun that shoots supplies down to the moon's surface, like at about a thousand miles an hour. I'm gonna reboot my. We're gonna get in one of those containers and escape that way. Laptop Will we it's not connecting that? the chat properly, so know. when people are talking to me, I can't see cool it. Way to die, though, huh? They're at the moonshot cannon. Move in. Oh, those are ours. She used to shooting loaders. Skill point. Okay, we'll have to use that for our kinetic aspis. Had no idea why these doll guys wanted Jack dead. I had suspicions. Money. Yeah, I do need to put some channel rewards up. Again, I've, I've been I'm kind of a little new at it, so. Usually, I. Uh, default to what people will want to see. Holy cow, what the heck? All this stuff opens. So what do you guys think I should put on for channel rewards anyway? Morning, Jazz. How did you survive uh, your thing last night? Did that go all right? Stand there, let me pop him, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll say good morning to you, didn't I? If I didn't, I apologize. I thought I did. Man, that guy really likes fire. Elevators over there. Let's go. This is kind of fun. Yeah, our story just began with us getting off a bus. It sounds all explosive and stuff. Stop complimenting the prisoner. 
Oh, I skipped over the storyline part to begin with. Basically, Athena has been kid has been uh, captured by the Crimson Raiders after Borderlands 2, and she's telling the story how she thinks Jack is a hero. Shot up there. Let me get the elevator. I'm glad you're all right, Drez. Damn it! Something's jamming the elevator up there. Figure something out. All right. Weird idea. Uh, let me put the loading terminal. Oh, no, no, no. Watch your step. That'll be a hell of a fall. Roger. All right, you get into the moonshot cylinder and ride it up. I'm in, Jack. Hold on, I'm gonna spin the cylinder. Oh, breakfast tacos. Ooh. That's good stuff. Did you make it up there? Free up the elevator so I can join you. Wedged in tight. Eh, no big deal though, they can't feel pain. Just bash them out of there. Oh, these loaders bum me out. It's no wonder Dahl took us over so easily. I need more soldiers. Badasses. Like you. <laughs> Woo! We made it! Right, we just gotta get into a moonshot. The creed of Hyperion shall not. After we kill Surrender this now. Field up. Great. All right, that's twice you've saved my life. Uh, now we just gotta. Oh, for what? The the auto shot controls are damaged. Someone's gotta stay back and launch the pods manually. I'd suggest Athena, but I need John Elpis. You're the only person that I can trust to save the space station. Roger. I'll find a way to save Helios. You won't have died in vain. If you die. All right. New plan. I'll stay behind. I need you down on the moon. You gotta find that jamming signal and shut it down. Otherwise, we'll never get control of the moon base and we can kiss that vault goodbye. You're really staying? You'll likely die. Now you saved my life a couple of times, I'm repaying the favor. Besides, I'm a hero, baby. Self-sacrifice is part of the job. Oh, good. A health machine. I had one put in here after a worker had an accident and, uh, lost his torso. Better heal up before your trip down to the moon. <laughs> Might want to grab some ammo, too. Supplies over here. We need to get a moonshot container up here. Normally, we'd load some supplies, but this time, you're the cargo. Been a while for me, too. I did play this. I, don't, I, don't, I did try to stream this a couple uh, last year, but I didn't, uh play it for very long. Okay, this container ought to do the trick. TD or Jacobs, wow. Uh, I think they were expecting it to be as good as two. I don't think it's a bad game. It's just not as good as two. So the container's already, just get into it. Does this container have restraints or it does not. Great. Yeah, I'll see you after you shut down that jamming signal. Cool, I'm pushing the container. Watch your limbs. Loading you into the delivery chamber. This is gonna be loud. It's slightly awesome. <laughs> You're telling me Jack, the handsome Jack, the guy who murdered my boyfriend, stayed behind while you escaped? Like hell. Whether his decision was heroic or purely strategic, I can't say. But if Jack hadn't stayed behind to eject the pod, I might well have died on Helios. <laughs> Those stories make handsome Jack kind of sympathetic. So guys, last yesterday's uh, stream was really good. It was my most successful stream I've ever had. It's the biggest town on Seven point two people per per uh, average. So that was good. Pretty happy about that. Yeah, four wasn't as good as the as the others, I don't think. Uh, 
Uh, yesterday's afternoon was 7.2. Let's take a look. And in the morning... Five point four in the morning, seven point two in the afternoon. So it was a very successful day for me. Hope we'll keep it moving up. differential gets too harsh so here's my plan when you're ready open the door and follow me to my oxygen bubble sound good don't answer conserve your oxygen notice she's Australian our map. We don't really need to worry about that right now. But we have no oxygen, so we're going to go... Don't yeah. think about the grapes thing. Joking! <coughs> need air! Well, she is Australian because... Yeah. I'll turn on this air dome generator This so was made in Australia. <laughs> That's air. Okay. Can't catch breath. Where is she going? Back up where I came from. Nearly there. It'd be embarrassing if you died now. Oh, I did? Nice to meet ya. I'm Janie Springs, junk dealer. Who are you? I'm Athena. Well, hello. <laughs> so what are you doing here? We need to get back to Helios Station, but we can't until we take down a jamming signal somewhere on this moon. A jamming signal? Haven't noticed anything like that. You might want to get to Concordia, a little city run by a fella called the Merif. Got to be somebody there who can help you. You'll need an O2 kit. Oz kits, we call them, to survive the journey, though. I've got some broken ones stashed nearby, but I can repair them for you. Even if you ain't the breathing type, you'll be glad you've got an Oz kit. Head to these coordinates and clear the place out. Okay. So since we don't have an Oz kit, we're going to have to be real careful with our uh, health here. Gotta find some... Oh, two. Luckily, the moon is apparently full of oxygen because there's a lot of these uh, geysers here that pull up oxygen. You just stand at them, you regain your health. And there's a bubble over here that we'll be able to do. And when we're standing inside one of the bubble, we'll have oxygen. <gasps> used to be in one piece and not lava adjacent. Till the crackening anyway. Oh, oh I forgot I locked it. Whoops. Just punch off the locks with your meat hunks. That's moon for hands. Oh, all right. Come on. We are. Could you kill all those baddies for me too? Not excited about being mauled again. Voila! One 
pause kit. Great for breathing, double jumping, and slamming enemies. Now, to repay me for saving your life, you're gonna end someone else's. His name's Deadlift. He's nearby, and he's an asshole. He's also got something I'll need to get us into Concordia. You cleared the place out? I'm coming down. Just bring More the broken lucky. kit to me, and I'll repair it for you. Happy New Year's Eve. Deadlift leads a band of scavengers, scavs, who used to raid the old Dahl dig site. Colonel Zarpadon imprisoned them, but they escaped when Dahl's digging cracked the moon. Mm -hmm. Zarpadon. Anyway, he's got the Digistruct key for my Zoomy stations. How's work going? Not working too hard, are they? My week. Win win. Oh, what'd help. you get her? posters. I'm sorry. Did my accent throw you off? I meant to say, I need y'all to help me fix up some inspirational posters, y'all. Donuts, cowboys, homophobia. They sell like hotcakes on the black market, and I've already run out of kitten posters. Head to one of my jump pads. Okay, so the way this is going to work is. Uh... Our O2 kit's down in the bottom left-hand corner there. It says O2. Oh, he got her a car. Nice. If you need to find me, I'll be back at my camp. I don't know, uh, why... The boss has my birthday gift that uh, right over here in the corner. It's big. I don't know what it is, but I'll find out tomorrow. I got some pretty cool Christmas gifts, though. Yeah, 39 years old with uh, seven years of experience. <gasps> I'll be the wisest 30, 39 year old out there. being here tonight with that uh, midnight stream so everybody can make fun of the fact that I'm 40 I'll be 46 uh, this is Athena in the pre-sequel January 1st birthday has always been a little, uh, meh. <laughs> I'm 
don't have a cane I've yet. A bunch of cameras at the apex of your jump. I just need you to get airborne and say something inspirational. Uh. Sorry. Say something inspirational, y'all. Uh, the sky's the limit, or something. All right. Cool. This time, I'll throw up a couple of targets. Try to shoot them before you land, and we'll make for an even better poster. And say something inspirational again. Um, always hit what you aim at? Good, good. Now, big finale time. Get into the air, then slam down on that pressure pad by crouching. Then say something cool and look as badass as possible. <laughs> nope, wrong. Well, Athena out. There we go. All right, that was cool. Now turn on the printer and it should spit out your posters. Hunter inside. Anyone doing anything fun tonight or are they all staying in? Everybody's staying in. Because it's amateur hour. Ordered a bunch of inspirational posters. I have motivational issues. <laughs> Head to his ship and put them up everywhere. Here, take the posters and the delivery confirmation. I need you to get that delivery confirmation signed before you put the posters up. Okay, let's see. BA token. Level four. Hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, give me that. Give me that. My grandfather and my dad both were, quite frankly. Hey, I got bored one day and started writing children's books, but I lost them. Yeah, my grandfather was in the army. He fought in Korean War and World War II. My dad never uh, went to war, but he was a drill sergeant. I'm all about supporting the military. Oh wait, that's this is like a jump pad. 
Yep. Hit correctly or what? Once upon a time, there was this moon. Then some military dudes came and started mining. They delved all deep and greedy and crap. Moon cracked open, people died, no one lived happily ever after. Finn, what do you think? Not enough plot. I'll take it under advisement. I think there might be another one in my old camp. It got overrun by Kragans. Killed my... They killed her. I was born on the Fort Knox military base. There once was a Kragan named Flamey, who jumped out of the crack and bit Janie. She blew off its face. Now there's no trace of the Kragan who dared such cockamamie. Well? Dark. Yet satisfying rhyme scheme. Fair enough. Good feedback. Oh, that reminds me though. Flamey's son owes me a life and he's still out there. Track him down and get it for me, yeah? That scrape sack got big. Kill it. strange two-legged creatures and thought they must be food so baby Kragen and his mum <laughs> raided the camp Flamey tore a two-legger up pretty bad and baby Kragen killed another one then baby Kragen ran away like a little <laughs> stupid piece of <laughs> that one must be corrupted or something I don't know bring those back while I write another one about how you killed an evil fire monster please do not some publishers are interested but only if I can <sighs> Let's see, which one of these do I want? Increases gun damage. Well, I want gun damage. Parts where people and baby kragans died. I was like, nah. It's kind of the opposite for me. I my I moved around, so I had to make new friends all the time. Three days and you've already got overtime. That's... Wow. Go you, man. That's pretty awesome. I have an interview next week. Six. He's really good at his job. They want him working overtime all the time. Go run the 
long way. More experience points that way. God, another? Last week you told me a bunch of people were let go. I want to work or do this until it, it pays. Why are we killing Deadlift again? He's kind of a dick. Is there anything else or? Well, he also stole my Moonzumi Digistract case, stranded me out here and got really rude when I told him I wasn't into guys. But mainly the yeah, I lost my grandfather a couple years ago. Both of them, actually. Didn't have much of a relationship with my dad's dad, but my mom's dad passed away five or six years ago. Zarpadon. <laughs> Sorry. You must leave Elpis. Things are about to get much worse. I don't want to kill you if I don't have to. Tell that to the people you murdered on Helios. Fine. Do what you will. Deadlift, this is Colonel Zarpadon. I need you to kill the Vault Hunters headed for your ship. Get them, sir. I ain't taking orders from the chick who threw me in prison. They said your jump pads are stupid. I will annihilate them! I think we'll see all of our loved ones again. Personally. Gotta give ourselves something to look forward to. Take care, Lucky. I'll see you when you get back, hopefully. I can use that assault rifle now, right?
gun damage. dinner tonight. There we go. What the hell are you doing on deadless turf, Falter? Need you to sign for a package. I would be delighted. Great. Now give him the package. Thanks. Now get out of my sight. He's got the package? Cool. Now kill him. Guy's an asshole. What is awesome! Now you just have to put the posters up all around the ship. Deadlift's men will try to kill you the entire time, but... Huh. Come on, do-do-do. Alright, that's correct. And that's really just like with other Borderlands games when we're playing them through for the first time. We scavenge for everything. We'll constantly be switching out weapons. Deadlift uses that jump pad as his front door. He might want to do the same. Oh! and group chat. Oh! Y'all got a group chat going or something? the strategy of posting images of myself in the lair of my enemies. That's one poster up. Keep going. My customers are going to get what they paid for even if you shoot them in the sternums while they get it. Uh, movement speed and gun damage. Hospice damage. As long as I don't get drowned out, you guys were, <laughs> were really something. Okay. Nice. 
Let's swap pressure to the right. And down, down. I'm not sure anyone on that's on this will be able to come through on my stream because it didn't uh, I joined it after I started streaming so uh it'll still work okay hmm. that does look intimidating only a few posters left like don't die <laughs> alright up there is next so, uh, the way Borderlands 2 works, for those who, uh, aren't aware or haven't watched, a lot of the platforming stuff was kind of not really platforming. There was always, almost always a ladder or something to get you there, except for the Tiny Tina stuff. Um, this is completely different. There is a lot of platforming in this, which is probably why it's not as popular, another reason why it's not as popular as, uh, Borderlands 2, because it's jumping around and that type of stuff. I'm out of ammo. Oh, you're kidding me, right? I have two assault rifles equipped. There we go. So you'll see things like this where I have to get all the way up there to uh, put up this poster. And I would be a liar if I rem if I remembered exactly how to do it. Luckily, we are in zero gravity, so we jump a lot higher. But a uh, little annoying to get up there. You don't hook on. Oh, that's right, because you have you have uh, afterburners too. It'll help you. Ah. Let's try this. Put these up first. Warning, oxygen levels at 50% and dropping. I won't be able to get all the way over there from here. Put that up. That picture's not bad at all. Just two more and you're done. I'm incredibly happy that you're doing this for me. If that's not clear, it's only because I spent several months isolated getting almost killed by Kragans. We need to find some oxygen. Here it is. I don't understand exactly how there could be oxygen underneath the surface of the moon and then not have an atmosphere, but hey, whatever. Oh, there's one right there that I missed. It's video game logic. Don't worry about it. I know, I know. I'm trying to use actual logic. There we go. There we are up there. You can't combine them. It doesn't work like that. You can't combine video admit, game and real I life logic cool. and try Just to compare them. It doesn't and you're all work. Many years ago, I was in a uh, storytelling group, well before most people were born that watched me. Uh, and uh, it was when the movie Independence Day came out. And uh, I had this young lady who I was friends with. She was Canadian. Probably anyway, still is Canadian, as far as I know. I haven't talked to her in a long time, but I'm sure she's still Canadian. And uh, yeah. she said she she was she said she had seen it. And I I said, what did you think of it, of the movie, the Independence Day movie? And she says, well, the most. Uh, unrealistic thing ever is that uh, in the whole movie is that the rest of the world was waiting for the Americans to attack before they were. And I said, you mean aliens invading Earth wasn't the most odd thing you've seen, that, you know, the most insane thing you've seen in that movie? And she was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> she was, that, that's where I learned that, uh, uh, that uh, Canadians don't want to be the best in the world. Americans want to be the best in the world. Canadians do not. They just want to be better than Americans. <laughs> Am I wrong? I was supposed to say, it's not 
that we want to, it's that we are. It doesn't take much to be better than Americans. Well, <laughs> let's be honest, fam. Well, head up to that geothermal substation, see what the damage is. <laughs> we can be, but we can, but we. Well, we're removed. I'm American, and we're. Uh, what I read yesterday, the other day, that uh, the governor of Oregon is removing math and and uh, English from the curriculum for high school students to graduate. Stupid. <laughs> I'm, th I'm thinking we're already getting our rear ends kicked as far as. Uh, schooling goes worldwide and yeah we're gonna make it worse now we can't we can't uh, do math and we can't do yeah can't do math we now can't they speak english count to ten. <laughs> but aren't they teaching some sort of new math now where instead of if I, i've my niece was showing it to me a couple years ago. Uh, she was doing this math. I said, well, "What's what's uh, twenty five plus sixteen? And I said, "Well, it's uh, it's forty one." And she said, "How how did you get that?" And I said, "Well, you just take this, do this." And then she showed me her new math, and it took her like a, a million years longer to figure that out. Than me just looking at it and doing it in my head. It's like, so why aren't they doing it the quick way? And they, there's no answer for it because new math is the way to do it. No, it's because new math is stupid. <clears throat> it's like show how you got to this answer, okay? Um. I did it mentally. How am I supposed to show it? Like, That's if you do mental math, how are you supposed to show what you're thinking? Doesn't matter. It's like, bro, this plus this equals this. There's nothing else for me to fucking show. Doesn't matter. It comes down to, do you have the right answer or do you not have the right answer? Because I can tell you... Nowadays, they need you to fucking show. Otherwise, yeah. you won't get the proper grading for it. Well, I can tell you, Stupid. being uh, the type of person who is who has been uh, working in uh, the uh, professional realm for as long as I have, uh, no yeah, one asks you to show your freaking work when you when they're asking you to do something. No. Just like no one asks like, you to do things life, in formats and all that happy horse pucky. Like in real life, let's be honest, when are we ever going to use algebra in real life? Never. Uh, s simple algebra you can't, you will. But... X plus Y equals Z. We're never going to use that in real life. Probably not, but... <laughs> no. Like, why the fuck do we need to learn that in high school when we're not going to do shit with it in real life? It just doesn't make sense. And it also will bring out the... what it, the, the, like That's where things. people who are gifted in those things learn they are gifted in those sort of things. So, See, mathematicians... I learned and, I was gifted, but I knew I was gifted in a special way, a.k.a. not smart at all. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly just joking on that, but... <laughs> yep. Well, that's where you find out Especially that... Especially if you're dyslexic. If you, they assign you a good story to read, uh, the best way to make sure you don't want to read it is to assign it as an assignment. So, some of the best you know books I ever read were... I read during school, but I hated doing them. Hated reading them. Okay. You know what sucks though? Trying to read while dyslexic. While being dyslexic. Like, all the words are like jumping around. So it's hard to read normally. I always have to go over it like two or three times to make sure I read the word right, because otherwise I think I read it wrong. I hate it. 
Well, I had math was my uh, Achilles heel. I always hated math. And I was okay at English, but uh, I never liked, like I said, I never liked assigned reading. I never liked when they said, well, read chapter, f yeah, read chapter four and five by th tomorrow. And I was like, uh, no, I don't want to do that. I'd much rather me, go at my own pace. No. The funny thing is, is the teacher tried to tell me to do that. And I responded, like, deadass, this was my response. I'm like, read it yourself. I'm not someone that's paid to read shit to you. <laughs> so fuck off. Oh, and yeah. I ended up getting suspended for that, but it was worth it. I didn't give a fuck. Well, I, uh... It was only like a two-day suspension, so it wasn't that bad. It could have been a lot worse. I was a kid, you only got suspended for... Fighting. See, here's the thing, I was a major fighter, so they suspended me as much as they could, basically, to prevent me from hurting other kids in the school. Because they knew I had a reputation for fighting. Well, I was a foot taller so than just about everybody else. Had, oh, any, like, time they had an Got ability an to try to suspend me, Sorry. they would do it. The because they knew I was a fighter and I would cause pad. trouble. Just stand between the two sparky bits. I was, that sounds unsafe. I was yeah, picked on constantly lots. because I was always the new kid. But, uh... <laughs> Yeah, I was always a new kid because I moved around eleven times by, by, before I graduated high school. Now just go kill the guy so you can get to Concordia. Why are those Hyperion screwbags still alive? Oh, I can't pick you up. That's a problem. It's like, did why did you invite me here? So everyone out there, thanks for coming to my stream today. I hope you're having a great day. Yesterday was a fantastic day of streaming for me. Best day I've ever had. So I hope we... Uh, yeah, you put up to 11 viewers at once. I averaged uh, 5.4 in the morning and 7.2 in the afternoon. So that's much higher than I usually get. Yeah. That's it. I'm going to become partner in 2022. I want to uh, continue that moving forward. I never got to ride a jump pad. I, I get also back here. the deaths of many innocent people. I will murder you, Maya. Get over here. Thank you. Threaten them with murder. That's how it works. All right. Our first is this is kind of our first real boss. He's kind of a pain in the rear. Deadlift. Nah, just get the soft sniper from the quest. It's a piece of cake. There's one quest that, from uh, Jenny Spoons, that you're able to get a shock sniper from. If you do that, you would Yeah, I've already sold that, because I don't like snipers. <laughs> oh, well, it shreds deadly. So I don't know why you sold it. Okay. There's enemies behind me here. The, the, the dead ones here. Yeah. There was one that was trying to suicide bomb that you basically. Oh. He is going. There he is. Not the BA staff. If I'm not mistaken, also, uh, they consider the moon in Borderlands a prison planet, which is even funnier because it was made in Australia, and uh, Australia was a prison colony. Sorry guys, I'm streaming, so I'm trying to keep me entertaining. Uh, 
Yeah. Trying to be entertaining. I know a thing or two about trying to get entertaining. Oh, muscles of me! Why did you take the shield? Shield's down. Now we got him. Oh, my God! 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 Oh, Bloody Must be someone. Because if shit corrupts on this system, I'm gonna cry. He oh. dropped a blue. Okay, that's our. Ow, that's a laser. Flexion hurts. Laser gun. I'm good. This is, I cheated it. This is our first laser. Shoots out like, uh, some of them shoot out like the Ghostbusters proton packs, which I like, so. Problem is, this is a TDOR, so. Go figure there. So you cheated. Hunza, am I glad to say that? What's Take the difference up. between advantages? Well, the key, you can turn on one of my moon zoomies at the Dar way station. Get yourself Bro, there, but be careful. Bro, the staffs have taken over that place that. after the cracking. You used a glitch that shouldn't be a thing. So yes, you did. Red chests. Red chests here. And, uh. We got. Yeah, no. Let me see. Into Jacobs. Ow. I'm gonna talk to him. Yeah, like this battle pass. But so right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Rings are in water. things I don't like about these TDRs is if you throw it before you reload, you lose that ammo that was in there. So those oxygen geysers will refill your Aussie. Just step into one and take game. a deep whiff. Like the more that's in the mag when you reload. Right. You hit harder for the reload damage. Right. Like the more that's in the mag when you reload it, you hit harder for the reload shark. So it's kinda worth it. Yeah. Why are you using what sounds to be like a shocker for its own name? Is that? Well, that sounds like a shocker. Crash mobs when you're trying to level. I 
This is the last will and testament of Tom Thorson, doll captain. Deadlift scabs are boarding my ship as I speak. Whoever finds this echo, please, find it in your heart to honor a doomed man's last wishes. Just press the next message button when you're ready. Of course. Thanks. First off, I need you to inform uh, Colonel Zarpadon of my yeah, death. So Plug keep... this echo recorder into a transmitter and convey the message. Let's look at the map to see where we are. Okay, we have to go back down here. <gasps> or not. That was a way too far now. Warning. I think he died. Okay. Head up this way. Elvis was an old Dal colony way back. But then the crackening happened. Lava erupting everywhere had them buggering off pretty quick. They left whole factories here to rot. Equipment just lying around. After a few years, the first fleet arrived. It wasn't the first one here, but that's what they called it. People started living here again. Maybe living's an overstatement, but people are here, amongst everything else. No one really knows why the crackening happened, but most people you run into will say Dahl caused it. Extracting minerals or something, I don't know. I guess stories don't have to be true to be believed. They just have to be told. And I tell that one a lot. <laughs> green, 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 shield. Early on, we scavenged everything. So survive Craig and Pass, big deal. I dare you to come over here and try that crap. Get over here so we can avenge Deadlift in a sick ass spacesuit. Another level up. Enigma is doing what? Oh, for uh, the channel points for your stream, I'm at 3,780. Yeah, I need to think of something to put in there. I do. Ah. <sighs> That's a, uh, it's, I'm somewhat new. I, I, I became affiliated in, uh, October, October 15th. And since that time, I've been wondering what to do with, uh, different things. I, I did get up emotes for subscribers, which is something everyone said they wanted. So that's cool. But I have to figure out what to do with channel points ne next. And, um, Oh, you can ask me all you want to. My birthday is tomorrow. I'm doing a birthday streak tonight. Uh, I'll be 46 years old. Oh, yes, I was. I actually come. It's even a weirder coincidence when you find out my brother was born on St. Patrick's Day. So, my mother... Yeah, my mother was very advantageous with the, when she wanted to give birth, apparently. So 
are you curious about my age? I'm just curious myself now. Yeah, I'm an old man. <laughs> Don't we all? You not so much as on stream, but... Well, I'm, uh, I tend to be... I try to be entertaining and nice on the mainstream. Because <laughs> I'm a nice person. I'll play thinking thinking tonight maybe I'll load back up. Fuck you, I'm not nice bitch. Oh gosh. Sal, I'm good. I'd rather not die. Ow, that's a barrel. You need death, I give you death. So do you. Thanks for full health as well. That one skill though is just broken. Okay, I need to find a way up there. Eric is mine. I do. Weapons. Shields in this case. That sh shield is better than mine, so I'm going to equip that. Oop, wrong one. That one. Why is he shooting? Thank you for informing me of Captain Thorson's fate, Vault Hunter. Yes. Though you will not have my mercy. Let me punch him. You do have my respect. What okay, you told the Colonel punch. of my death, I'd like you to avenge me. It looks like Squad, Deadlift's Lieutenant, is boarding my ship right now. If you could track him yeah. down and kill him, uh, I'd appreciate it. And I murdered everyone. Forgot him that overcard. <laughs> Captain Thorson says you're a dick. <laughs> oh, you didn't pass. He's devastated. That's that. Sorry I can't give you a reward, but no, you know, I just died. I'm dead. Still, thanks. Vault Hunter, I want to thank you for fulfilling Captain Thorson's last wishes. Head to the following coordinates. Yeah! Oh wait, I need oxygen. Let's go get oxygen first. 
That's another reason that they probably look at this as the black sheep of the Borderlands family, is because you always have to watch your oxygen levels. Not if you play as Claptrap, because he's a robot and doesn't need it. That's true. But he's also the most annoying character to play as. That's because he's Claptrap. He's Fair. supposed to be annoying. You know what? Fair. Good. Yeah, I know. Oh. What happens if I do this? What happened there? What did you see there? Wait, was I actually in Tebow's mode the entire time? So I'm just sliding across the ground right now. Warning, oh, oh shit. <laughs> we don't talk about that one. It never happened. Hey, cool. Speed. What about now? Am I fixed? Probably not. Where's darkness? I want to kill darkness. Damn it, I wanted to be broken still. I mean, I technically still am broken, but... Alright, where's the badass? There it is. Let's get him to unbound. No, 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 don't kill him! Crows of Dot might end up killing him for both seats. Hey, it's here. How you doing, buddy? Happy New Year's Eve. My man hit this this is a bad idea. Ago. Let's go learn to other enemies so we can level up. Take them back. Just bring well, him over here. Of course we will. You're gonna be here, right? So... You got big plans for the holiday? I don't think so. Oh, no, there's a golem here. Two of them, actually. Bring them over this way. Hey, bud, follow. Oh, can you not get through? I don't think you can get through. That's how thick he is. If I do this and then this, how much damage does that do? A lot. I shouldn't have done that. That was one burst in the rest of his cloud full burst of dot, and he's already almost dead. Okay. Good thing he's health check. Ah, oh, I see. Give up on stuff. You go up there and I'll go up there on this little big game. I think I'm gonna do a uh, midnight stream tonight, a tier. What do you think? I might actually play a game. I am gonna do one. I think I'm gonna play a game I'm actually good at, though. <laughs> More than likely three. Get you into Concordia. Maybe you can find your signal there and get back to your ruddy huge space station. Hey, you survived. That was me high fiving myself. They're looking for me, so I gotta go radio silent. Find the jamming signal, no, shut it down, and return to Helios. But that's what gets me the most attention on Twitch. So I played Halo Infinite a couple weeks ago after it came out, and uh, didn't get a lot of attention doing that.
If you can, that would be great. I know a lot of people are busy tonight because of uh, they're out drinking and all that. But I plan on I plan on drinking and having fun here. So. <laughs> Like alcohol. Why? Just. Did you really take down the entire Atlas Corporation? Back on your feet. No time to wait. I'm gonna actually get kills for once. No, that that that's even more broken. I said, can you not be broken? Well, now everything's dead because of things. That's what I was trying to do to begin with. There we go. <clears throat> I will have some bourbon. I haven't decided which kind yet, but it will be bourbon. Haha, <laughs> you're stuck down there, idiot. Maybe some Maker's Mark. <laughs> I got a big old bottle of make, Maker's Mark in there. Plug them up. My kill. Uh, you want to slay stuff on the battlefield? I'll go ahead and do that. I think everything died. Where are we headed to? First of all, we'll open this. And then Let's kill these this things and get again. experience points. Oh, that's not good. That's not a good gun. I don't think that's the way you were supposed to go, so you just ended up dead to death. Whoa. Oh, man. Badass Iron Golem? Welcome to my humble shop. Okay, well now he's unbound, so he's gonna love love. Good to see oh, that's you. Mimic. Here, Hi. take this. It's an Orbitron. It'll get you into Concordia. Bye. Kill the Mimic. Alright, just jump that crap with oh, your vehicle that... and you'll be well on your way to Concordia. Once you he's get fine. there, you, you should mean? be able to find your jamming signal. Or whatever you say. Here, I'll, I'll meet I'll you there help later. Slag up the entire battle, including him. Oh, and Athena? Might have been a problem. You're real pretty. Especially with that door. Just throwing that out. Hmm. I'm, uh. Uh. Thank you? This thank you. is Deadlift. See Deadlift lift. See Deadlift who lifts become dead. There See how happy this Reckless. makes Janie? Very. Alright, let's just run away and let him level up for now. We'll be back, Golem. Have fun. We'll just chill over here or something. Yeah. So, I we'll locked some of my stuff in a safe to keep it out of Deadlift's hands. Now that he's dead, you're gonna open the safe for me. Why are the... Here! 
Why me. are they just suicide bombs? Unfortunately, I forgot the combo to my safe. So you're just gonna have to open it up the fun really way. That I'll shield will be your lock. That kind of worked if you could focus on one single enemy with the beam. Oh, he killed something. There we go, 93. Max, we can get him up to his level 98, and it, his name becomes Iron God. So we're gonna try that. So it'll be level 98 Iron God. Well, it'll still be a piece of cake for us. Play well, on the other side. Challenge. It's not a badass. It's a reckless iron god. What do you mean? Hmm. Here, double slag. Why? Because bad ideas are good ideas. Twice. Trying to grab ammo. All I want. <laughs> like mop again. <laughs> How was that order, Captain? Dead. Okay, got it. Hope 94. Nasty. I can't slag your turn. We'll alternate every turn, I guess, to slag them. And there's level 95. Nasty. Doing that to me. Keep on slags. He's just about to run out. Who's over there that he's beating up? Oh, that dwarf that he kind of destroyed. Okay, got it. Another shield. Right, six. Oh, this is only going to bring him up to 97. Oof. We need more enemies. Any spiders over here I can learn? Over? There are. Alright, follow. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. As long as it's like a little bit hard. He's at the point where he's not really going to get murdered by anything here, so it's fine. Oh wait, more enemies spawned. Where the fuck did that spider go? Follow you, dumbass. Oh, he is trying to fucking murder me, okay. Nope, 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 I'm moving too fast. Ow, he hit me. I lied, I'm not moving too fast. Yo, spider, follow! Does he not go past that area? That might be a problem. Oh, wait, Iron Golem is fucking him up. He fucked me up, though. Hey Gear, we got a problem. It's called a uh, me off map. Even with slag. You need that shield to break into the safe and re-steal the goodies. Just trust me. I guess we'll just weaken him a lot, I guess. So I guess I should have a vehicle for this. It, but I don't. So. Uh, not seems to be good. There, he slugged his wall. Now he's dead, dead. Dead to not slam. 98. Uh, we need a couple more enemies. That's only imposing. He goes to Iron God, which I think is 102. It's gonna be rough to get him to that. Yeah, we got what, like four more kills basically. Let's see if there's any more back this way because there's none up ahead. Even if there is at this point, they're way too far back to work. Nope, we we'll just murder him. Oh, wait, no, he's following me. He is following me. Almost there. Ugh. He's definitely following. 
Ow, ow, ow. Give me health. Thank you. Give me more health. It didn't work. Follow the path, boy. Don't want to follow the simple path. Oh, can you not walk anymore this way? Oh. Ow, 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 no. Bad idea. Don't do that, you asshole. Ow. Yeehaw! So... How can we do this? Oh, wait, the door over here is open now. Got more enemies inside here? Yep, there are. Bring them back over this way. We're good. Just bring them over this way. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but I did. Oh well. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. No, don't shoot us with that. Jump down to us. Step it up, soldier. Look like you want it. Not angered on us. Okay, follow me over this way then, if you're struggling. There we go. Now follow me. Get a vehicle or something. My breakneck banshee fleet um, plus six is barely enough to outrun him full sprint. That's lucky, so to be honest. No, oh, keep on. Come on, that's the bud. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! That no, don't do that. No, I said don't do that. You went through there the first time. Why can't you come through the second time? Where Why are you is? Struggling? There's no. Ow! I was not expecting him to do that. Thank you. Yes. Yes, jump. Now come on through. Just run through. Oh my gosh, really? You're just being an asshole at this point. Come on. So if you're new here, guys, don't forget to follow me. I'd appreciate that so much. Yes. So trying my way through Borderlands. The pre-sequel here. Oh, this leg some oxygen. Need the one over here's leg though. There we go. That did not even slay him. Whatever. I think at this point he's too over level to make a difference. Yeah. He's 98 to 89. He's not gonna make a difference whether he's slayed or not. It's still gonna be faster, so I'm gonna slay him. That didn't even slay him. Bro. There we go. And he said there, basically. Yeah. Okay. Whiskey, what are you doing, boy? Okay. Now it's just those enemies, so get them to slam near them. Try and bring go. them outside. Yeah. yeah, that's what I wanted. Hit that fast travel. No, not fast travel, that just run safe out spot. towards me. Well, it's level 100 now, so I think he can just mess them up, like, where you are, though. What are you doing? Sounds like the boss is heading off to her appointment. No, you leave me alone, sir. Then we will, uh... Oh, that guy is no, leave me alone. I'll go off into the voice. You 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 you'll need to disable all those at the Thank same you. time to open the safe. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna put me so far away. Hey! Just let me go! Literally so far away. Whatever's inside is yours. 
That's my finest bit. Oh boy, someone's got a laser. You. I didn't take anything. Is there another one? Yep. Dude, I don't know how you were struggling. I got past them, no problem. That's a scav pistol. 101. Now next level is Iron Jaws. So take up your knees in there. Let them mess them up. Probably shouldn't have put my password I'm stand in over the here safe. So I'm not Silly me. Way. Anyway, come on Ooh. back whenever. Anyway, Iron God, there he is. Let's take him down. Yeah, your B, your freaking infinity is doing like nothing. I'm noticing that. Quality, Maybe this was a bad no idea. Way. So we did that quest. There's another one we're gonna do here. Torgo, so Torgo. Lasers? There's a light reactor stuffed in a building nearby that I can sell for a good chunk of moonstones. If you get it for me, Play I can Carol, give you one of my spare laser weapons. On. I just gave yeah, you a prod gun. You'll need to piss off some crackers with it. Hi, new best friend. I'm from the Toy Corporation, and I'm super duper fucked. That laser cuts exist. They're made of light, which doesn't even explode. Like what? I'll pay you to destroy that light reactor when you find it. Seems excessive, but I like his energy. Oh, Mr. Torque is one of my favorites in all of Borderlands. He's hilarious. Uh, that counts as like a god live. There we go. Right here. Probably a little party, Jonathan. Well, it's basically just a trophy for killing the god live. But you've done that before. I'm gonna speed here. Let's get the fuck over the road with that speed. I just get myself over there. I jumped when I shut up. The reason our health was down, I don't even realize why it was so far down. Probably because of the uh, mission we were just doing. Back up to norm to max. I mean, there's a easy way to do it, but it's just annoying. To, like, you have to go through it. A decent bit before the run. Oh, I should have gotten a vehicle because I gotta jump that gorge. Let's go get, grab one. Alright, you grabbing it? Peaceful Kragen, which means uh, they're gonna get super ticked off at us. 
This um, this mission though is kind of a you joke. It. The building with the light reactor should be nearby. Get inside. The way's blocked. All oh, right. That's why I gave you the prod gun. Blast the Kragans with it. They'll get angry and charge you. If you can lure them into the rubbish, they'll smash an opening for you. <gasps> She gave us a gun, huh? Punch. She sure did. She gave us a gun. So the joke here is with Torg is that he hates lasers because they don't explode. And if the the real joke is if you play Borderlands 3, there's a Torg gun called the Laser Exploder that actually does have lasers that shoot out exploding pellets. So that's that's kind of the joke of the whole thing. It's pretty funny, especially when you consider uh, it's one of the more fun new weapons to use in Borderlands 3, even though. It was an originally, it was one of the better weapons, but it's been outpaced by so many of the DLC weapons and uh, things that have come out since. But it's a lot of fun to use. I love using the laser exploder. Whenever I start a new character, if I get a laser exploder, I try to, I hang on that thing for death grip on it. Fun, fun weapon. I've already got a laser, so... This is taking a really long time! <laughs> no, no. I things I do not understand! <laughs> there it goes. Mr. Torg sent us a Torg weapon that uh, I probably won't keep. That's a shotgun, though. Maybe I will. The Hammer of Heretic's Subtle Historical Reference. <laughs> Alright, so we've done all of the side missions we can do right now. Oh, almost. Let's turn this one into uh, Tiny Springs. Yeah. Uh, something that I do when uh, the, the boss likes to watch uh, pet vet shows that come on TV and one of them that comes on CBS it takes place in Australia and I always joke that the reason why they're on that, that they use the, these uh, this pet hospitals because all the, the uh, nurses and doctors are good looking uh, doing these good looking Australian guys and girls and but Australians tend to end sentences with yeah yeah how you doing yeah what's going on yeah so whenever they uh, we watch that and they, they start talking I always go yeah yeah and she gets ticked off at me for doing that which is funny for Steph can't believe I forgot that 
Okay, so we have Moonstones. Moonstones take the place of Iridium in this game, so they're more the premium currency. Money's used, you can use that. Uh, vending machines and such, but, vend but the Moonstones are what you use to SDU upgrades, and I think there's another use for them as well. I don't know if the grinder machine uses that or not. Yeah, you can use uh, that. And then, of course, when you, if we decide to take the raid boss, which we won't, because I'm not that good, uh, that will, getting into that will cost moonstones more than likely. Because yeah. that's what they did in the last game. That's 20. Uh, what it usually is. <laughs> Concordia acts as the town hub. This is where we will spend a lot of time coming back right, to. Welcome to Concordia, a crap hole if I ever saw one. Find a guy named Huckster. He's ex Hyperion, runs the town. And there'll be a lot of cameos here. Here, are you just murdering everything? Okay, that's I'm far enough, Buster. Entry this. papers, and make it snappy. Chop, chop. Are you f***ing serious? You're in violation of the verbal space this plurality statute. You just got a ticket. What the f***? Oh, you just got another. I love rules. They make me powerful. That's cool and all, but Follow I'm me not. Or you'll get a third so... ticket. Stop cheating. Yeah, I know you did. Yes, this is Concordia, mightiest of spaceports on Elpis. Too bad you'll be seeing it only from a cell for all those oh. tickets you've accrued. You didn't even do this area of mobbing. Give him the Orbitron. Things will get weird, just so you know. Oh no, so confused. Oh, great. Yeah, consider yourself totally cleared for decontamination. Boom! <laughs> Told you I'd get you in. You're on your own now. Oh my. So that right there is the, the uh, twink locker. We'll be able to use that if we want to switch items between characters, which probably won't. But that's what it's there for. Ow. Welcome, new citizen. Obey my commands. Go stand on Dickon domination this. pad. Do not move when Beam comes. I nurse Nina. When you need medicine, you come see. Only a serious though. Nurse Nina hates big babies. Unless they're real babies. <laughs> nurse Nina loves them. You hurt. Here, take. Yep. Good, you better. When hurt again, can use vending machine to buy heels. You're healthy. Go. Machine won't work if not walking the cars. Okay, so this is kind of
Take Marcus Munitions. Don't have to. So, Huckster, the guy you need to find, calls himself Marif. Like, Mayor mixed with Shara is stupid, whatever. But he might know how to track down the signal. This guy's still pulling down a fat retirement plan from Hyperion from my division. I'm basically his boss. He's pretty much on the team already. Of course. Visitors from Helios. Uh, so, here's the thing. Uh, uh, no visitors today. Whoa! You were one of us, you stupid named son of a bastard! Thank you for visiting the offices of the Merif. We hope you enjoyed your bureaucratic interactions. I uh, guess there is one other person who can help us, unfortunately. Get to the up over bar. Yeah, here comes. You can't have a Borderlands game without Moxie. There's a lot of people in here, though. Look. Where the hell's Mox? Oh wait, wait, wait. There's Roland. Hey, you see those two on the dance floor? The tattooed chick and the guy allergic to smiling? Oh, they're ex vault hunters. Go see if they'll help. <laughs> oh, finally, Lady Luck flips a freaking face card. And Lilith. Flat trap right there. Let's talk to Roland. Hello again. Hyperion are losing Helios to Dahl. We need to stop the signal that's jamming its systems. Hyperion, Dahl, is there a difference? We're on vacation together. Yeah, sorry, but we're out of the vault hunting game. Too many tentacles. What's that mean? Go talk to Moxie, damn it! <laughs> Looking for me, sugar? <sighs> Hello again, Moxie. Jack sent me. Hey, Athena. Haven't seen you since all that business with Knox. Looking good. So, Jack sent you, huh? Must have bothered him something awful. No worries, though. It's all in the past. What does he need? Doll soldiers took down Helios's defenses with a jamming signal. We need to find that signal and shut it down. You want to find a signal? Then you gotta put transmitters on the Echo Towers around town. Get up right. high. Simple triangulation. They'll find the source, then you can shut it down. Thing is, I don't have any transmitters here. But that's fixable. First, I need you to pick up some moonstones mistakenly confiscated by the Customs Claptrap. Head over there and I'll update your Echo. Trust me, it'll make sense. Oi! Can I get a bloody refill? What are you doing? You work here. What? Nah! I'm <laughs> Alright, so the Moonstones are going to go back and talk to the Claptrap. And then she's going to send us, I believe, to Crazy Earl. Still, it serves its purpose. You can use it to stash things you don't feel like carrying around. Oh, that's right! I actually put the Moonstones in the stash, not the bank! Uh, you can have the gun. The owner doesn't need it. The stash, huh? That's where you can store items you want to swap between other characters. Not sure why you put the moonstones there. Okay. It's back over here. Good at looking at the seal. I can't tell if I'm still here, which I am. Okay. Stash is up here. Again, this is where if you have more than one character and you get a uh, class mod for another character, you can swap it between them using this. That's right. I had the moonstones all along. <laughs> Classic, huh? Seriously? Shame he doesn't ticket himself for stupidity. Pick up the Moonstones and take them to the black market. Show the Moonstones to the guy there and you'll get what you need. I ordered a bunch of transmitters a while back, but I've been kind of avoiding this place. That Janie Springs keeps trying to use it as a place to accidentally run into me. Yeah. 
Bikini Springs is, uh, she likes the ladies. And everybody likes Moxie. So many people leaving here. Of course, we can switch our heads and stuff here. Let's see, there's Bounty Hunter, eh. Eagle Shroud, Shadow Peeps, Mega Rogue. Okay, and then, uh, that's not bad. A lot of these are just palette swaps, though. Some of these I did unlock when I've, I've tried to stream this uh, last year and I didn't get really that far into it, so I did unlock some of them. Wow, that's wow, loud. Yeah, most likely to be honest. Wow, that's really loud. Woo. I was gonna say it looks like Captain America and it's Captain Pandora. Let's go with for fun that one. Anytime we find heads or skins, we can come back here and swap out. And we can respec our uh, Athena as well. Chances are, since I'm not using a, a build, I'll probably what do you that. Want? I got these moonstones from Moxie. Says she's got some transmitters for collection. I'll throw them in if you take some of this other trash off my hands. How do you know about me? So just like before... <clears throat> He wants Moonstones instead of Iridium, but Crazy Girl's the one who gives you your stored deck upgrade. Upgrade. So, uh, I tend to use a lot of SMGs. Yeah, hope it helps you kill stuff. Now. Yeah, Crazy Girl gets around, and he's a useful guy to know. Bring him Moonstones, and he'll get what you need. What you want? <laughs> Love that guy. I'll hit your echo with the cohorts for the towers and manage things from here. When you get the first transmitter in place, I'll. Oh, dang it. Yeah. Make contact. You need to get above Springs Emporium of Stuff. She's out of town, so she won't be around to help. And so we're clear. Tell Jack once this is done, we're all square. Always trust the gun at your side. What did I pick up? Uh, SMG. Blue SMG. I'll take it. This is her Emporium O stuff. She likes uh, you're into her again. She's a pivotal part of the story. I could learn a new language, I guess. <laughs> so listen, I'll send you a waypoint showing how I try that climb. You know, because I'm nice like that. Hmm. See, so, you know, there's a lot more uh, hopping I around in this game. And that's kind of a pain. It's not like climbing the towers in three. Not as bad as that. I've got a connection, but it's not very stable. You mind giving it a whack for me? Yeah. That's better. Give me a sec to get everything set up on this end. I, I don't understand, but, but she picked them up. Didn't come in person, sent someone. I'm just letting you know because you said to if anybody ever swung by for them. Mm -hmm. And she didn't mention me at all? Yeah, so, you see what I mean about that girl? The signal, it's not coming from Concordia. Coords for the next tower on your Echo. <laughs> I 
we can make <clears throat> make this jump or not. Oh, wait, 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 no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm here. Just so you know, uh, this is very much like Borderlands 2, so the, all the quality of life stuff that you liked in 3 will not be present here in 2 as far as fast travels and stuff. Need to my... You need to find a way onto the roofs. Yeah, I figured that part out. This place is a thrill a minute. Well, I'm going to leave this chat myself. There we go. Alright, so I'm out of the voice chat, so I can play the game and don't have to worry about me streaming. So, uh, <clears throat> like I was saying, this is very much, this uses the Borderlands 2 engine, it's very much Borderlands 2. All your quality of life stuff that you like in 3, where you can just hit a button and fast travel right away. Not here in uh, the pre-sequel, because it's like 2. There we go. Shut down the electric fence, we have to follow these wires over there. There we go. Did you see what I mean about the jumping puzzles? I just gotta mess with some dials back here. Oh, Mama. You know why I don't come back? I'm safe here. Company no know I'm here. Name is same because they expect me change it. Anyway, Mama. Mama, no cry. We no must go. This transmitter, something's not working. Let's try rebooting it. There we go. There's a tower above the Marif's office. Try getting up there. Okay. I'm gonna go over there. The boost is what really helps you with some of this stuff because you can Warning. like the left burn. Oh yeah, should have mentioned the turrets. You'll need to destroy them. like a bullet or two damaged the relay drive gearbox. Sift through those turrets, see if you can find a replacement. Uh, what? Just, it's a thing that makes the transmitter work again. Small black box.
Serena is not for... I'll deal with our Merif later. Okay, everything looks set up. Head up to the control panel I've marked on your Echo. Activate it so I can initiate the final scan to pinpoint the signal's origin. Activate the control panel over here. That's what we need. I believe there's going to be a couple more we have to hit, too. The signal's coming from Crisis Scar. That's an old doll comms facility. Been nothing but scavs there for years. Well, looks like it's working again. Go shut it down. Uh, also, status updates still getting shot at. So if you wanted to hurry, that'd be cool. I'm wrong. Attention, citizens of Concordia. Until further notice, for your own protection, the town is in lockdown. No one in or out. That is all. Okay? Oh, what the hell is wrong with this guy? This is so frustrating! Get back to Moxie. She's got secret exits everywhere. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> She's got secret exit. Now, if I'm not mistaken, and I I haven't played much of the Telltale game, I think this is the only time where you actually see Moxie out of character. If you're looking for Moxie Carver, she's not here. Really hard getting served when she's off in a secret workshop, tinkering with advanced tech and all. If I was any more annoyed, I'd probably let it slip that it's accessible by pushing the arm up on the one arm band and machine over there. Then pressing the access button that pops out. Phew! Close one! That new eternal dialogue filter chip I had installed is a ripper, mate! You should get your lock finger around Mato. It's like a cocktail, but a bunch of. There's all kinds of sparklers here, stuff. I'm pretty sure she is out of, uh, she's out of character here, and this is where she says, don't tell anyone what you've seen, because this is, she doesn't bubbles act like, birds, bubbles and birds, bubbles yeah. and, damn, Servo, get in there. Moxie? Hey, whoa, what are you doing, <clears throat> what are you doing in here? Sorry. <laughs> damn it, I really don't like people seeing me out of character. The hell do you want? The Marif locked down the town. Do you know any other ways out of Concordia? I know a way out, but I ain't... <clears throat> won't show it to you unless you promise not to tell anyone what you saw here. Um, I promise? Great, because if you spill, my son would have to bury you alive in a shallow grave. the way out of here. Hope you find that signal and remember, shallow grave. So we got our first character class mod here. It's uh, Defender. It just ups our shield by 43%, but we will find ones that up your you know, rare ones later. And equip them as we get them. Look out 
This is the only way. Damn. Oh, how did they know about... Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll get back to you. What just happened? The whole run... Yeah, so, uh, not good. Zarpadon's troops have taken control of the Eye of Helios. Uh, it's a big four. Try not to panic, but, uh, she's trying to blow up Alpis. I'm Sybil, leader of the Liberation Front of Concordia. We're Mother Nature's little helpers, and there's a species on the brink of extinction in desperate need of rescue. I'm sending a set of coordinates to your Echo. I'll lay things out properly when you get there. Yeah. I don't want this vehicle. I want the missile pod. Because there's going to be some uh, big squid monsters that come out like that one. That you really want this for. Plus they attack, uh, they home in on other stuff too, so it's pretty handy. Oh, we got a level up there. She wants to go all wait a minute, where does she want us to go? Oh, that's a long way. Okay. The, the missile pods for that reason, they home in on those things and take them down. Oh, I'm not far. Take the jump pad up. Oh, we have a level up, that's right. For more gun damage. turret over there to shoot at us. And don't forget guys to uh, hit that follow button if you don't mind. Front sources notified us of some indigenous creatures we made it up to 80 cuties. followers. You know, I never Cuties. heard of them, but they sound divine. And their natural habitat is being wrecked by horrible corporate sludge. We need to put a stop to the pollution, and time's running out. This used to be a Dahl refinery, before the crackening. Naturally, this being Elpis, some filthy scavengers have moved in. Show them no mercy. <laughs> Go. 
another one. That's something else about this game is the O2 kits. That that door swings both ways. They have them too, and if you pop them off of their head, they start to take damage. Because they take damage the same way that you do. Sniff out some juicy nuggets at Camp Gossip. Beats reading a book. Someone's out there, though. I can feel it. Have I got a stalker? Alright, so this is going to be a little difficult. There's going to be a big spawn here, I believe. Just keep coming for a while, so I'm gonna be prepared for it. If you're just joining me, this is considered to be the black sheep of the Borderlands family. A lot of folks consider it to be the worst. That's because it wasn't made by Gearbox. It's uh, done by Australia, 2K Australia, I believe. Which, uh, as we were talking about earlier, is why a lot of the characters in this have Australian accents. So your uh, Moxie and Moxie are one of the same, but like Jenny Springs, she's definitely an Aussie. She says Bonza, things like that. So. Nope, there's a Moonstone. Moonstones are good. see him at first.
So you have to scrounge and loot, of course, a lot, because you have. Oh, I must have missed one. I mean, it's just a big spawn. There's a lot here, and if you're not careful, you'll go too far, and then. Then you're surrounded, and nothing you can do about it. that that BA dropped over here. Oh, pardon me, I didn't. All right. We have another upgrade for us to use if we wanted a level one upgrade. about 25 minutes or so left. There's more than one button. You'll have to input the correct sequence to shut off the flow. A smart vault hunter like you shouldn't find that too hard. Get it, get it! That 
ones even more disgusting than the smaller ones. Kill it. Hack it to pieces. Shred it with bullets. Kill. 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 So this mission's about making fun of PETA, basically. They only want to save the cute animals. Coming up. Well, another productive day for the Liberation Front of Concordia. Nature triumphs once more. And if I've learned anything, it's that nature always wins. Come back and I'll pay you for your valuable work. You can see we're about to level, so that's good news. That'll put us at level eight. There's a big cluster of moonstones. Take that. Good. lunch before too much longer. I'm going to another 20 minutes or so. And, uh, take out the dog. All that good stuff. And of course I will... Got too close to that. I will be back for an afternoon run. And then don't forget, tonight is a New Year's Eve stream. I fully plan on being here And uh, I don't know if it'll be 9, 9.30 or so, I'll be back on the, at, well, I'll come back after lunch and then we'll play more. But then at 9, 9.30 or so, I will, uh, uh, I'll come back play more of this in the afternoon and then after that we will be back and uh, 9 9 30 ish and we'll do the, the New Year's Eve stream. I'm thinking of streaming Borderlands 3 this, after, uh, this evening when I do the New Year's Eve stream, but we'll see. Maybe not. I might do more of this. Depends on how much fun I'm having. Those 
things here. Squid things. Yeah, there it is. Dark Side of the Moon, that was a uh, Pink Floyd reference. Let's turn this mission in. Oh, we did get another level up. There we go. My gun damage there has gone up 15%, that's all. Speed damage resistance, additional damage. mission so we're gonna go this way okay we have to go out to crisis scar I need to get inside. Then prove yourself worthy of joining Red Belly's band of scabs. Excellent. Get going, wannabe gang member. I shall brief you on the way. We are in a bloody war with a rival gang who call themselves the Darksiders. Cut a bloody swath through their ranks and steal the silly prison things carried around by their toughest warriors. Then, if you live, return to me here where I am standing. Oh, yeah. Forgot to mention, those dark siders love overcharging their jump pads for some extra boost. Shoot the little box on the side of the jump pad, and you'll get some extra zip. <laughs> yeah, and the dark siders, dark side of the moon, they carry prisms. That's a Pink Floyd thing. That's one of their albums. One of the probably one of the more. No, it is not probably. It's one of the more famous albums, Dark Side of the Moon. <clears throat> Looks just like that.
my stuff. Bloody idiot! Walk, walk, pull me! Remember! Got that. Equip that. Dinkum. Buggy?
You have proven yourself worthy, and your initiation is nearly complete. I've updated your echo with the location of, uh, uh, another entrance. What's wrong with this gate? Ah, the, the thing is, is I was fiddling with the controls and got something stuck in them, so the door's not working right now. But you can still get through the side door. Just give them the password. R. I shall wait here. A noble yet dangerous robot. Alone. Mysterious. Desperate to be loved. Desperate to be loved. There we go. You see any posters put up by our rivals? Oh, feel free to burn them down. That score me major brownie points with the others. Oh, it's locked and you silly me. I have the keys here. But there's no time. Try and break through the sky. bad. We're not doing that bad, quite frankly. Come 
wasn't so hard. Alright, so here we are at Crisis Scar. Yeah, well, that's the mission we weren't doing. Okay, so guys, we've gotten to the part where I should probably uh, shove off for lunch. Boss just got back, I gotta get the dog out, etc, etc, etc. So, give me about an hour, hour and a half, I'll be back and we will pick up right here where I'm leaving off on uh, Borderlands, the pre-sequel, okay? Now, don't forget, if you haven't done so yet, please follow me, I would greatly appreciate that. As always, though, uh, I, w I always appreciate the viewership, so please keep them coming. The past couple of days have been pretty good for viewership, and I hope that continues uh, to, to go up. Um, tell your friends that I'm here. Don't forget to follow me on social media, uh, in particular Twitter. Twitter is where I uh, tend to let everybody know where I am and uh, all that good stuff, so feel free to uh, follow me there. I also have Instagram. I also have a Facebook page. And I have a YouTube channel, so if you want to support me in any of those platforms, I would greatly appreciate that. I really would. Um, don't forget, tonight I plan on coming back around 9, 9.30ish, depending on uh, what time things wind down here. And uh, we will have uh, a little drink and uh, uh, stream for maybe this, maybe Borderlands 3. I haven't decided yet. And we'll uh, figure out, or we'll, we'll play all the way till midnight and have a uh, you know kind of little holiday stream there because tomorrow is my uh, my birthday so yes New Year's Day is my birthday tell your friends that I'm here though the only way I'm going to make partner is by uh, getting word of mouth out there that I'm out here streaming I'm here practically every weekday at least till I get a job and uh you know, twice a day. I've been on the weekends. I usually try to come at least once, sometimes twice, sometimes none, but I try to be here a as much as I possibly can. And that, ha that uh, will help me uh, grow, and I will become a better content creator for you guys, which is what I really want. I really want to be the best possible content creator for uh, for you guys and to uh, continue to grow, get better, make better content, and play, uh, you know, continue to play games. Uh, I do have big plans coming up here in the near future. February is uh, Horizon Forbidden West. I'm looking forward to playing that. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to seeing that. And then uh, go ahead and just put a uh, pin in March when Wonderlands comes out. I will definitely stream Wonderlands find uh, playthrough with you guys. So go ahead and uh, check that out. Uh, you know, keep look forward to that and let people know that I'm going to be here doing that stuff, okay? So uh, I'll see everyone here in about an hour, hour and a half. Don't go far. Have a wonderful lunch. I'll see you soon.